Okay, this is a quick talk through exercise six. Now this is a fairly easy one. Basically what you need to do to start with is just enter the data off the um, off the table. So to make sure you've got the author, the title, the classification, the number of copies and the unit costs. Obviously the unit costs need to be formatted as currency. So we're gonna to go to format cells. And within that, we're gonna choose a currency. I've chosen GBP. I don't really mind for the case of this, which one you choose, okay? But then there's a few things we need to do with this. So first of all, after we created the worksheet, we need to make the title and the labels in row three bold. So we're gonna click on here. And on the home option, we're gonna click on bold. I'm gonna do the same with row one. Okay, so those are all in bold. Now I'm using Excel offline here, but effectively it should be the same online. Then it says sort the data into ascending order by author and by title. So here we need to highlight all of this information. Then what we need to do is go to data and within the data option, we need to choose this sort option. So we're gonna sort by, first of all, the, um, well, actually, just before I say that, on the right-hand side here, it says my data has headers. If you make sure that one's ticked, you'll see it picks up um, the actual headers off the rows. If it's not ticked, you'll see it comes up with kind of column A, column B, and so on. So I'm gonna make sure it is ticked. And then I want to sort, first of all, it says by author and then by title. So I'm gonna choose author, and then I'm gonna add a level. I'm gonna choose title at this point. I'm going to press OK. And the big clue here is that you both uh, the James Brown should be at the start, but Pack to Godhead should become before Faith Healers. So if you're not sure, they're the two ones to check, because that's exactly what the examiner would do if they were doing this paper. So we've sorted by um, row and by title, and at this point you should save it as small books. Then it says add a column to calculate the total cost. So here we need to add in a new column called total cost. Make sure it's wide enough. So if it's not, obviously drag it across. And it says this should be total cost equals the number of copies times the unit cost. So what we're gonna do is very simply, we're gonna do it equals sum of number of copies, asterisk, unit cost, close brackets, press enter. And then we can pull that down. Okay. Adjust the column width and row height so the data in the cells can be seen. We've done that. Save the spreadsheets. If you have time, you should also make sure that you sort it by more than one column. You'll need to ensure in Excel you've selected more than one level. So you search, well, we've done that already. Try adding some charts. So you could add a chart onto this as well to show kind of um, which was the most popular author. A good example of this could be if we select like the author and the number of copies. So to do that, if we highlight the author column, and then if we hold on the control button and pull down on the number of copies, and at this point, if we go to insert and we go to the charts option, so we go to recommended charts, we should be able to pull in something like this. So we can see that um, James Brown and James Brown. Now the problem here is it's pulling both the James Browns as separate options. So a better option for this might be instead of choosing the um, authors to choose the books. So if we choose the titles, hold on control, and pull down the number of copies on this one and do the same thing and go to insert and go to recommended charts. You should see, and if we just choose this one, that should be okay. That this time we can see that Outer Planet Experience has sold by the looks of it five copies, whereas Faith Healers has sold 10 copies. So that looks like that's actually a useful chart. Okay, now, what I'm doing here is I'm opening exactly the same spreadsheet, but this time I'm opening it in Excel online. So it's the same basic pattern. We need to add a total cost on here. So we're going to do the same thing. I may be doing it slightly out of order, but it's uh, going to be the same set of instructions. I'm going to do the same thing here. So it's equals sum, open brackets, and we're going to take number of copies. I'm going to use the asterisk as a multiplication and times it by the unit cost. And I'm going to pull that down. Okay, so we've got number of copies multiplied by the unit cost here. And then we need to do the same thing here. So if we select the whole of this area here, and we go to data, and we go to custom sort, and again, we need two layers on here. So again, we need to select my data has headings. So we're gonna start by author, 
and I'm going to add, I'm going to do it by title and press OK. And again, we should find that James Brown, Back to Godhead, comes before your James Brown, Faith Healers. And again, you can do exactly the same with the charts. If I select the title and hold on Control and select Number of Copies, this should give us the option to make a chart. Okay, this is interesting because basically this won't allow you to, to do that. So what you're going to have to do is select that area there and then go to Insert and go to Recommended Charts. And this is where the online version has slightly more limitations. And if you just wait while it analyzes the data, Okay, at this point it will become obvious that control and select doesn't work in the online function, which is a point that Excel users have apparently complained about for the last five years. So whilst I should be able to select uh, the contents of column B, hold on control and select the contents of column D, I can't. If I right click and hide column C and then instead select column B and column D and go to insert recommended charts, I think it's still going to cause the same issue. Can you see it's still pulling in column C even though it's not there? So what I would say is at this point, whilst you can do most of this on Excel Online, you can't do the chart effectively. Um, so get as far as you can, and then at this point you're going to need to stop. Okay.